Okay, so I wanted to show y'all how I finessed a ponytail on my little one inch of hair. Give me a second. Look at that, yo, she's sick. And I have no hair. There's no hair back there. <laughs> my hair is this long, literally. So I put gel in my hair, like a lot of gel, and I use this little wrap strip. Lay it down overnight, and I'm gonna just skim my edges and put the blues in. Look at that, that's the length of my hair. <laughs> my hair is washed nice and clean, give her all the treatment she needs and it's time to put her back in my face favorite protected hairstyle and that's the jumbo twist i use the cuban twist here this is my third time reusing this hair i have a video showing the pack if you want to see it i use two strands the second one i will put across and reason why i do this is to hide the rubber band if you want to hide your rubber band that's how you do it and it works for me and i just comb out my natural hair grab something to drink that's my snack when i'm doing my hair and as you can see there i'm not twisting tight matter of fact i'm just wrapping it around and that's how it gives that nice and fluffy look i have 20 strands of hair in total and that's how we're looking so i'm gonna drink to that because i did that uh, i'm about to extend my locks for my b-day and we're gonna go from red to black because sometimes you just gotta get classy on the hoe Okay, y'all, I got a good feeling. I got a good feeling about these. Look. It looks like scalp. Okay, y'all. So, unfortunately, I had to speed this part up, so I'm going to just do a little voice on it. Pretty much very simple. So, I'm going to take my jam after I moisturize my little lock. And then what I'm going to do is take some Marley hair. And then what you're going to do is take a, all the way to the end and get a little piece and then wrap it like one or two, three times around the base. Then after you wrap it, you're going to pull it nice and taut, but not taut enough where you're going to pull your hair out, child. This is low tension style. And then you wrap. Literally, that's it. Don't be like me and be lazy and don't cover all your hair up because you definitely could see some little red peaks. But I didn't, I didn't give a damn. I was My arms hurt at that point. But anyway, so I'm just rapping and rapping and rapping like it's Christmas time. You feel me? And pretty much you literally do that until you get to the tip of your lock. Once you get to the tip, which I'm going to do in a second, is run over and get a faux lock. At this point, I have not added any interlocking through my scalp because I just feel like crochet hair is nappy as hell. Why would I put that through my entire lock, like the base of my entire lock, so that shit can get matted up and fall? But anyway, so you're just going to wrap some more. Sorry I keep going off camera. I'm a blind as a bat. I can't see. But you just cover up the lock and wrap it really tight, just how you did the top of your hair. Wrap it around that faux lock three times, and then pull it, and then wrap tight. Boom. Bop easy so yeah this is the finished product can y'all see i think it came out cute this is for my birthday i think this is a look this is like brazilian body wave for the lot girls don't say i'm gonna be helping y'all